The Dumbbell Romanian Deadlift is one of the most popular exercises on the gym floor, with good reason. When it comes to the plethora of benefits the humble lower body move offers, it's not hard to see why it's such a fave. Romanian deadlifts are probably my favorite movement to program and to do myself, says Jake Bonnethoff, founder and coach at Beyond Fitness Coaching. When done correctly, the exercise is a phenomenal glute movement, hits your hamstrings really well and builds fantastic overall strength. Bonus, the DB Romanian deadlift, or RDL, also requires minimal equipment, just a pair of dumbbells and enough space to comfortably hinge at the hips. Convinced yet? Here's everything you need to know about this home workout. What muscles does a Romanian deadlift work? RDLs work the entire posterior chain all the muscles that run along the back of your body, including lower back, glutes, hamstrings, core. What are the benefits of Romanian deadlifts? Works the core and lower body at the same time. Safe for people with lower back pain. Builds strength for other workouts running, walking, etc. Can be done with a range of equipment. Great way to master the hip hinge. One of the main benefits of a Romanian deadlift is that it is a simple and effective exercise that helps strengthen both the core and the lower body with one swift movement, says David Wiener, a training specialist at AI-based fitness app Freeletics. They're also a solid gateway to many other exercises, Vonethoff says. RDLs are what's known as a hip hinge movement pushing your bum back. It's a motion you need to master for a range of other exercises, including a number of deadlift variations. Once you've nailed RDLs, the rest flow from there. If you're one of the folks who struggle with back niggles, Romanian deadlifts are a good option, Wiener says. Romanian deadlifts are one of the safest options for people who experience lower back pain, as they offer support and a way to strengthen your back muscles. Many people rely on powerful hip extensions for workouts like running, and this is the reason Romanian deadlifts are so popular, they can increase strength in all of the muscles involved in this movement and even help resist injury caused by lower back stress. What's the difference between a deadlift and a Romanian deadlift? 5 points to Gryffindor if you know Romanian deadlifts aren't the only type you can do. While the movement patterns and muscle targets of Romanian and regular deadlifts are fairly similar, there are a few key differences. Deadlifts start with the weight usually a barbell on the floor, while RDLs ideally start in an upright position. Knee bend. A regular deadlift allows for more of a knee bend and therefore involves the quads more. Vonethoff says. RDLs, on the other hand, call for soft but not bent knees. The move is almost entirely driven by that hip hinge. Regular deadlifts usually require a more upright torso roughly 45 degrees to the floor for most. In an RDL, your torso will generally end up almost parallel to the floor at the bottom of the move. Glute Activation RDLs are more glute and hamstring dominant than regular deadlifts. A regular deadlift still works those muscles, but to a slightly lesser degree. Does that mean RDLs are better than regular deadlifts? Nope, we're talking six of one and half a dozen of the other here. I'd argue both RDLs and deadlifts are as hard as each other and similarly challenging to learn, Vonethoff says. Provided you use a weight that feels challenging for both, they're as equally as beneficial when it comes to building strength and endurance in the posterior chain. Romanian Deadlift Form – How to do an RDL properly Begin by standing with your feet hip width apart and knees slightly bent. Hold one dumbbell in each hand, and place them in front of hips with palms facing thighs. Keeping your spine in a neutral position and squeezing the shoulder blades, start sending the hips back. My favorite cure for nailing this movement is imagining you want to close a draw behind you with your bum, Vonethoff says. Keeping the dumbbells close to your body, lower them down so they are in front of your shins. Once they pass the knees, do not allow the hips to sink further. 
maintain a neutral spine and drive through heels to fully extend hips and knees, squeezing glutes at the top.